Uh, guys, uh, before we get into the video, I'd like to thank my sponsors. Uh, it'll be Team Alba Racing, Nate Martinez, he's my tune guy, and uh, Gary at Kong Off Road. Uh, he's out of Dorton, Kentucky. He's a uh, he's got his own parts store, and he'll he'll take care of you the best way that he can. But uh, you guys check him out for all your uh, parts needs, and if you guys need any tunes, I highly Highly recommend Alba Racing. What's up, YouTube? Guys, I'm back at it with another video for you. Uh, as you can see, I added a different machine to the lineup. Uh, this is a 20 model YXZ. It does have a GYTR turbo on it. Actually, it's got a bunch of stuff on it. It's got a full Trinity exhaust. Along with the GYTR turbo, it's got a DOP intercooler. But uh, I picked this machine up used off a nice gentleman up in Ohio and he said it had a tuning issue and it does, it won't hardly idle. And like right then it wouldn't start, I'd give it a little bit of fuel, but uh, my man Nate at Team Alba Race and I've done contact him, I actually contacted him before I bought it. And uh, I contacted Casey Hawk, I guess is how you pronounce his name. Uh, spoke with him about it as well. He thinks it could be the map sensor. Uh, I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna let Nate tuned the machine anyway. Everything I own has got an Alba tune on it, except the old Trail Edition RS1. It's got aftermarket assassins on it, but uh, I like Alba's tunes. Nate's been good to me. He uh, he's the man that tunes that uh, Ultra Four race machine. So any tune of need I have, I'm sponsored by Alba Nate always. He'll take care of that side of it for me until I quit racing, quit riding. Uh, but yeah, as y'all see in the title, that buddy of mine got that X3, that 200 horsepower machine. Uh, we're going to do a little drag race action. This time it's finally going to be a good race. He, he, he smoked me pretty bad in the NAYXZ I have, which is still for sale by the way, but... But today, I think it's going to be a little different. It should be a good one. If this machine was tuned correctly, I think it would absolutely walk off and leave the Can-Am just because this thing's got 12-pound of boost. It's actually got Alba cams with it as well. Uh, it should be making around, I don't know, 200 horsepower at the wheel, I'm guessing. But that, that's the reason it makes it tough to tune. It's got cams. The guy, I think, started out with the NA build, then it turned into a turbo build, but... Uh, DOP, I know they don't recommend cams. I think Nate does have a tune with cams, but he's just got a lot of mixed matched parts on it. And it's also got the DOP five something injectors. So it's it's a little different. A person really needs a dyno, but uh, it runs good when you hold it wide open. So, I mean, a drag race, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it wide open. But uh, guys, I don't mean to ramble on. Uh, we're gonna head to that quarter mile straight stretch we got on blacktop. Every race I do, I do it on blacktop on a drag race. Uh, just because it takes spinning out of the equation. And I always do it from a roll. A lot of people like it from dead stop, but dead stop you'll break stuff. I'm not. A quarter of a mile is plenty long enough, and it's slightly uphill, about three degrees. Uh, that's plenty long enough to see which machine is faster. But guys, before I get into that, this is the machine that will always be first priority. This is my Ultra 4 stock production machine. You all that follow the channel, you know at Visions, I had an epic failure. Well, we addressed that problem. This machine now has a KB3 driveline. It's an awesome driveline. Kind of easy to install, but you have to have some... You need a quarter inch drive... 12 point socket and i'm telling you i can't find one nowhere but i i got the for these bolts right here three eighths won't fit in there but i got it tight my way of doing things but uh 
other than that you need a 30 millimeter wrench which i didn't have one you had to buy some tools uh but other than that man it was easy install hopefully no dns this time got my g4 shocks on it and guys that's another thing i know all the yxz guys they use weller well i don't plan on racing the yxz although it is so much the rs1 it actually feels like a turd right now it's it's slow but uh if i do shock work it'll be g-force on the yxz i'm curious to see how that would uh stack up but guys i've been talking for five minutes people complain i just want to explain to everybody what's going on in this video but stay tuned for the drag race it's gonna be a good one Guys, I want you to pay attention right here. Uh, number one, I do a terrible dri job driving. I short shifted, but that YXZ has 32 inch tires and it was lighting them up on blacktop. It was spinning, it caused me to short shift. That's the reason he jumped out on me the way he did. second pass uh, I do a little bit I do a little better job driving this time uh, I actually revved it out a little bit and I didn't let it spin as bad so uh, yeah Thank you.